forgot to shoot an intro for this lesson, so bear with me. So today on the channel, we're going to learn how to play Majesty by Ghost. Best song on Meliora. Shout out to Greg for recommending this. Um, can't believe it took me this long to do a video on it, but here we are. So enjoy, guys. Hope you learned something from it. Oh, and like most Ghost songs, this is in D standard, so it's D, G, C, F, A, and D from the sixth string down to the first string. Let's learn Majesty by Ghosts. So that main riff that makes me cry tears of pure joy every time I hear it, it goes like this. And not sloppy, it goes like this. How do we do that? That E power chord shape. You're just gonna bar the second fret of the A and D string, and we wanna hit that E power chord, and we wanna slide it up to the seventh fret. So we're going from two to seven. And as it's, it's, it's a, you'll get the hang of it. It doesn't sound good slow. But it's like in one fluid motion between the first strum and the second strum, you want to get that power chord when you get to seven. So it's like. See that? So it's slide power chord. After that, we're going to play the power chord again and just pull off that um, ninth fret on D so we get that bar, which is actually an A power chord or a E perfect fourth. I don't know or care. See that? Then we're gonna hit the open E string after that, and then do that uh, power chord to fourth. We want, to, we want to strum both those. So the first one, the first time we did that, it was a pull off. This time it's two strums. Then we hit open E again. Perfect fourth on the fifth fret, A and D, and then D power chord. That's the first half of that riff. Second half of that riff starts exactly the same way. We're gonna slide up. Then from there, we're gonna go up to the D string and the G string and make that perfect fourth on seven. But you wanna use your middle finger and your ring finger so you can get this pointer finger on six on the G string because we're gonna do one of these guys. Go from that perfect fourth to major third. And then we're gonna bring that perfect fourth down to four. So it's... And you can give a little bit of a slide to give it character. Um, actually, it's really important that you give it a little bit of a slide. Because you hear the difference between this... and... It's too choppy. You wanna have a little bit of sloppiness in this one. And then the little tag to get us back to the riff again is open D to a hammer on, on two on D four on G open A and it's gonna repeat so that second half is gonna go like this and the whole riff goes like this. And then you would repeat that um, probably forever and ever and ever because it's such a great riff. We're going to go a little out of order actually because after the first chorus, there's a little tag to go back into this riff. And that is uh, open E, 2 on E, 3 on E, 5 on A, back to the riff. And you're going to do that riff... Um, the second ending when we get back into it. So this part makes up for the first part of that riff. That is Omega's part. I, I'm gonna call it Omega's part because just I never got to see Omega play that riff but I've seen all the clips and I really 
wish I took the train to New York that one Sunday night to go see Ghost. First time I saw Ghost, Omega was in the band, but they didn't play this song. It was quite a travesty. In the good old Wellmont Theater in Montclair. That's what the poster is behind my, on top of all my guitar racks if you watch my other videos. Well, let's do the intro lead. All the ghouls that I've seen clips of play it like this. You start on the B string and go 8, 10, 12. Then you go to the G string and play 9, 11. Up to B. 8, 10, 12, 8, 10, 7, 8, 7, 9 on G. That's the first half of that. Then you're going to repeat that 8, 10, 12. Slide up to our favorite pentatonic box. G string, 12th fret and 14th fret. B string, uh, 12th fret and 14th fret. Bend 14 up just a hair. Or a half step, I guess is the proper term. And back down to 12. Slide up to 5th, uh, not 15, 17 on the B string, excuse me. Hit 19 on E, and then end on 17 on B. That whole intro lead goes like this. And that's, I mean, that's the lead that happens after the first chorus, too. Cool, so look at that. We got the best part of the song done. So let's, uh, let's... They're really actually similar parts um, in the verse. So it's a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a, that's our that's our picking pattern for the right hand for most of it. Um, might be a little discrepancy in a minute or so, but let's get the basic part. So both guitars are doing this: open, eight, open, and then a little lick. Open A, 7, 8, and then 7 on D. This is where it gets different. Aether Omega is going to be doing this open E. The sky's in now to 5th fret, 8th fret. Fire, or Alpha, or Ghoul, is going to do this. You're going to hit the 1 and uh, then on 2 you're going to slide from 5 to 7 on A and get the 10 on the D string. Then you're going to alternate between 7 to 11, go back to that 7 and then slide up to a power chord on 10. Fire Ghoul's part is this. Then they're both gonna do one and a power chord, power chord. And those power chords are seven on E, or seven on A, it's an E power chord, to a um, D power chord, five on A. One and a D, D. Then go to an A power chord. And then remember this thing? We're gonna do that up here on open A, 12, 13, uh, 12 on D. Back to this one, 7 and 8, and then 7 on D, and then we have our F power chord on the first fret of the E string. Um, oh, in the second verse, before they go to the chorus, they just do 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a... Cool? So the whole verse, I'm going to do, do the whole verse for you. First time is going to be Alpha's part, second time is going to be Omega's part, and then we're going to have the unison at the end, and it's going to be lovely. Cool. 
course, really not that difficult either. The only difference is what notes you're hitting in these slides for the chorus between the two guitars. So they're both gonna go, I'll, I'll just do fires real quick. Al alphas. Really gotta commit to one of those. <laughs> A, E, then you're gonna slide up to 17 and 16. F power chord. And then you're gonna go 14, 12. Then the build up is gonna be F, F sharp, G, or one, two, three. Open E. Five on A. Seven on A. And then E power chord. That's gonna go like this. Um, all right, now that I'm in tune, um, the only difference for Omega's part is we replace these sliding notes. So he would go A, E, then you're just doing 14 to 12, F power chord, 10, 8, 1, 2, 3, open, 5, 7. And that is the chorus for the song Majesty by Ghost. Now let's get to like the solo, bridge, psychedelic, trippy, weird time signature part. Let's go through the rhythm guitar part real quick because once you get the rhythm, it's easy. So leading into that, you're gonna do this little tritone on eight on the A string and nine on the D string. <laughs> That's it. So it would be. And then you hit a dead string. This is gonna be your friend, this up and down dead string thing. So four, three, back to this tritone. And then we're gonna go one, open. And then to alternate with that tritone, we're gonna just do the power chord. So seven and nine. Now, the second time we do that, we have a little bit of a different thing because we got major thirds. It's gonna be same rhythm, but it's gonna be 11, 10, 11. We're just moving down each fret. 10, nine, 10. 989 nine. and we go back to our tritone 898. Eight. So that goes like this. So you play that riff three times, then we're gonna go to this uh, D minor chord. So we got a bar. Which, how you play that, you bar your pointer finger. Right? Fifth fret, A string down. We make our big power chord. So, ring finger and pinky, seven on D and G. And then our middle finger goes to six on the B string. From that, we go to E. And we do that twice. Now I'm gonna go to eight on the E string, and then go to seven. That was the rhythm guitar part for most of the solo. There is going to be a harmony, but we're gonna learn the main part first so you can hear how the harmony plays in with the main part. D string, ninth fret with your ring finger, and bend it up. Just a half step. Yeah, because you don't want it that now. Right, that's the whole solo. We're done. Bye. Thanks. Subscribe. So we're going to bend it up. Now, sometimes I hear a grace note. I hear this grace note better in the next part. I'm going to do it anyway just because I like Richie Blackmore. But what you want to do is you want to use that ring finger. You want to do a quick hammer on and pull off to 10 with your pinky. And go to 7. 
that would sound like this. And then you're gonna go to six on D, bend it up a half step, go down to two. And we do that twice, or the most of that twice. Second time, instead of going to two, we come up to the high E string. We're gonna make another power chord. It's gonna be 12 on E, uh, 12 on B, and nine on G. And you wanna go. And you want those notes to be staccato. See how I'm lifting my fingers when I play it? If I keep my fingers pressed down, you get this. I'm out of tune. Next part of the solo, we're doing the same phrase, just up an octave. So we're up to 12 on the B string. We're gonna bend it up. That little hammer on and pull off grace note to 13. And then we're gonna end on 10. Bend nine up, and down, five. Bend back to this. Don't hit the open B string, that doesn't sound good. Next part of the solo, we're going up here to the G string, seventh fret, down to seven on D string. Well, don't do that, do this. That's our first part. So seven on G, seven on D, up to uh, six on B, to five on B, to seven on G. Then you want to slide up to ten on B and go down to nine. Then you're gonna walk down nine to the D string. So that's 10, nine, nine on G, nine on D. And then we walk down to seven. That first part. So from that seven, we're gonna go back up to seven on G. Then we wanna play uh, six and five on B. Back to that seven on G. And then we're just gonna slide to seven and nine on B and hold it there. Then we go back to this power chord. Triple it, 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 triple it. That is gonna be 13, 10, and nine on G. Seven, nine, 10. Then you wanna jump up to 17 with your pinky so we can get the triplets again on uh, 17, 14, and 13. Uh, so it's triple it, 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 triple it. And on 14, go to 13 on B, 17 on B, go to 16 on G, and then we're gonna end on 13 on uh, G, and bend it up a half step, and slowly bring it down. So this is the whole solo. Thank you.
So there's a harmony to that, which I mentioned earlier when we were learning the rhythm guitar part. Let's say we just did that part where we left off. We're gonna go to 11, 8, and 7 and play our triplets. Then we'll go 5, 7, 8. Then we're gonna play our triplets here on 10, 7, and 6 on the D string. 7, 8, 9 on G, uh, 9 on D, bend 6 on D, and back down. It's the same thing, just an octave down. We got a double chorus. We're almost done with Majesty, guys. Very cool. By the way, um, be sure to subscribe and like this channel. Share it with all your friends. Subscribe to this channel, like the video is what I meant to say. Really trying to get to 3,000 subs by the end of the year. That would be really cool. And I only need 500 or so more. Uh, actually, no, not even 400. It's totally doable. Every little bit helps. Really appreciate it. Let's finish up Majesty. So we got that same riff from the intro. Now we're in the key of A. 13, 15, 17, G string, 14, 16, then you do your 13, 15, 17 climb again. 15, 13, 12, 13, 12, 14 on G. Again, we're gonna go to um, 17 and 19 on G. Go up to 17 and 19 on B. Bring 19 up. Back down. And slide down to uh, 12 on B. Bend it up. Bring it down and end on 10 on B. This harmony at the end. 9 on G, 8 and 10 on B. Wrap your pinky around to get 12, not 12, 10 on the D string, 7 and 9 on G, 8 and 10 on B, back to 8, 9 on G. So that last part is gonna be 7, 9, 7 on G, and then eight, or not eight, 10 on D. We start with that part again. You're gonna go nine to eight on B, slide up to 13, hit 15, bend it up, back down, 12, From this, we're going to 12 on G. Bend it, back down, nine on G. That's the it. That's the it. Really good grammar, Nick. You're really, you should just drop music and do poetry. So we got this. <laughs> And then there's a big drum roll, and then you end on an A power chord.